morning. Uh, like I said, my name is Joey Pinter. Uh, I'm here to talk about soft skills uh, that go along with trans transition and uh, getting a job after high school or going to college. Um, I'm a special ed teacher at Lutcher County Central High School. Um, my wife, she's here. She's also a special ed teacher at Lutcher County Central High School. Um, we have a club, so now we share a room, share a house, share a <laughs> house. It's been, been a ride. Uh, you know, yeah, right there, you can see that's our son. His name is Bo. He is, uh, he's something. He's uh, so, as we work in the area of post secondary transition, we found a need to emphasize. Uh, soft skills or uh, skills to be utilized in the workforce, not just to get certified to work. Um, so this project kind of focuses on that. Um, the incorporation <coughs> of soft skills practice as well as appropriate employment soft skills um, to increase the success of our students. Um, so students basically, I mean, they can have two dozen pathway options, but really it narrows down to these three. So you're either going to go to college, you're going to do vocational track, or you're going to go to work as soon as you graduate. Um, soft skills are relevant to any of those three pathways. So more than 80% of our exceptional students at Electric County Central are on a career pathway, not a college pathway. So they are either at a vocational school getting certified in something and ready to go to work as soon as they graduate, or they intend on going to work in another capacity, a retail or something like that. So uh, the soft skills that we're going to talk about, um, they're not technical skills. We know that we have great teachers in our vocational schools. We know that we have great teachers in our schools that are getting them ready for college, getting them ready to go to the workforce. Um, soft skills are how you interact with your colleagues, how you solve problems internally, how you manage your workload, that kind of stuff that they're not necessarily taught when it comes to learning how to do a trade or something like that. So the first one we're going to talk about is time management. So one thing that I never used that I use now is a planner. I had to become a teacher before I ever used a planner. Um, so you, I encourage students to use planners, um, help them to create schedules that work for them. You know, a lot of kids do a lot of different things. They're very busy, just like we are. They play sports, they have duties at home, they have chores, they have people or siblings that they have to take care of. They're not just students, they're people. So you gotta help them create a schedule that works for them. Help them break down large tasks into smaller tasks that they feel like they're getting somewhere, create a checklist, that kind of thing. And uh, have them estimate the time it will take to do the task and then assess that once that's completed. So they realize that, hey, I said this is going to take 20 minutes. It took me an hour. Next time I need to give myself a little more time. The next soft skill we're going to talk about, networking. So have them participate in group activities um, with direct responsibilities. Um, change seating arrangements in your classroom, help students develop new relationships. If you're going to put kids in groups, don't put them in the same groups all the time. Don't let them pick their groups. Put them with people that they don't necessarily always want to interact with because they'll find out that they have to do that in the workforce and they need to get used to that kind of thing. Um, and branch out to different interest groups. If you kid, if you got a student that plays football, make sure he's talking to some people that don't play football. Make sure you talk if they play basketball, they're not staying in the basketball realm. They're getting out and they're talking to other people. So you need to teach them about teamwork. Uh, assign, assign group work that encourages students to work together. So don't just say, here's this packet. You all are going to work in a group of four. We're going to get this done. Assign each person a specific task within that assignment. That if it's not done, the rest of it doesn't matter. That way they're all responsible for something. Um, create games for your students to play that allow them to have fun working together. Um, for example, as we've done in social studies classes I collaborate in, we've done escape rooms, scavenger hunts, uh, deserted island, that kind of stuff. There are a lot of 
book. You can find them on the internet. They're free, and they love. And you love. Uh, encourage them to participate in team uh, sports and activities. So extracurriculars are good for students when they get into the workforce. They learn how to have a common goal and work together to accomplish that common goal. The next is creative thinking. Um, present students with bell ringers that do not have a, a definite answer that cause them to think. Um, give them assumption, give their opinion, that kind of thing. Um, give them a broader platform to work with. Um, and give students the option to expand their thinking and their own in their own process with little to no parameters. So when you give a kid a bell ringer and it's a yes or no question or it's an ABCD, then that's easy. But if you have to make them think and solve a problem that they wasn't thinking about, then that's going to translate to the workforce really well. We do that every day. Uh, conflict resolution, kids sometimes don't get along, we know that. Uh, teach them ways that they can deal with those kind of things. Um, present students with situations uh, and have them discuss how they would deal with that situation and then hopefully when a situation similar to that comes up they know how to interact, they know how to solve the problem. Um, analyze and build upon how they dealt with the situation. If they do poorly at dealing with it, then teach them the right way. Show them the right way. Um, so here are my resources and over here where my project is going to be, I have a kind of a at a glance sheet and the resources are the QR code for the South Bend Transition Resources that I use to get this information and do my research and in the PowerPoint presentation there's also a QR code on this too. Um, so feel free to come over, check us out, ask any questions. Um, that's about all I got. Anybody got any questions? All right, thank you.